and now I'm back with the fake crate unboxing. Yay! Remember, if you have, if you're getting the box and you don't want to be spoiled, then don't watch the video because I don't want to spoil you. But look at it came. I don't remember what the theme was, but we'll open it up and then you can look inside and then I'll tell you what the theme is. That's what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, I already see something interesting. I don't know what it is, but it looks beautiful. <laughs> Let's see, this one was <laughs> of gods and of gods and monsters. I'm trying not to look at the spoilers. I already know what the book is, so that yeah. Look at the look at this beautiful. Ain't that gorgeous card? Oh my gosh, this first thing is gorgeous. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's my um, shirt. I forgot I ordered the shirt. Look at this shirt. I forgot that I bought the one with the shirt. It says the C of, I mean the C does not use, wait, let me see again. The C does not like to be received. Restrained. The C does not like to be restrained. That's of course Percy Jackson. Oh my gosh, it's just gorgeous. It's huge though. I didn't know it was gonna be so big. Hey, I'm not gonna go play because if it's I can if nothing else, it can I can sleep in it. But that's nice and huge. Right, this is really nice and huge. Let me see if I can get it around me if it messes up my hair real well. <laughs> Oh, it's nice and soft, too, you guys. Oh, yeah, I like this. Look at how gorgeous. I know my finger's in the way. I'm sorry. But look how gorgeous. I love this. Ooh, it's cute. I forgot all about this. That's why it was so heavy. I'm like, why is the box so heavy? Okay. Next thing I see is this. This I was spoiled about. It's a um like a thing to heat your to keep your drink warm on. I got spoiled on this one. But look how pretty. Oh well, Jody's calling, but I have to call her back. Okay, let's see what's next. Oh, cool. Got something here. So I can figure out where it. I got spoiled for like two things, so I know what a couple things are. I didn't get spoiled for this one though. Ooh, the pillow pin? Or is it a taper? I think it's a wall tapestry or whatever you want to call them. Look how gorgeous. Oop, wrong way. Oh my god, is this gorgeous. I would probably just use this as like a small blanket. No, don't you think? It'd be cute as just a little blanket. But look at this. Oh my god, I love that design. Like, this box is already killing it. Like, if I just got the shirt and this and that warmer thing, it would be worth this box. Oh my gosh, is this gorgeous. Show me a dream. <laughs> Unrealized, I think it says. And then down here, let's see what it says. Oh my god, is this gorgeous. Something about don't show me unchangeable paths. But don't show me maybe unchangeable paths. Something like that. But oh my gosh. Like you can definitely use this like as a little blanket. I mean, oh my gosh. Would this be gorgeous as a blanket? This design is like. Oh my god. I love the design. I mean fake crates really been like killing their boxes lately. I'll go over everything, of course, after we're done. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this box, like, already. I forgot I got the month, the one with the... We got this little thing per thing. It says, once there was a girl who was drawn to wicked things. Things like forbidden ancient stories. Wait, what? That's my <laughs> daughter being loud over there. I'm sorry, you guys. She's watching something. It's just gorgeous. I'm not going to take it out of the paper. But oh my gosh. This box is like really killing me. And there's a book. But I see some other stuff underneath the book. 
Let's see. We won't show that yet. We won't show oh my gosh! Mm. Guys, look at the Polaroid! I think that's supposed to be um, Dorian and um, Cal. I think that's who it's supposed to be. We'll double check. I'm pretty sure that's who that is. Isn't that... Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that they do these pol Polaroids now. And then we got... Ooh. This said it says Billify. Billify, how do you say that word? Really pretty. And we got... Oh, this is the book, so what the book's about, so <laughs> we won't look at that yet. But, oh my gosh, look at this. It says, 2019 monthly calendar featuring the works of Gabri Gabriel, how do you say your last name? You know, the one that does all their arts. Oh my gosh. Look at this, you guys. Look at all these pictures. Oh, look at. This is so adorable. Oh my gosh, I love these, this art. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, is that art, if I can talk. Gorgeous. I mean, there ain't nothing in this box I do not like. Look at this one. And then there is some more, I'm sure. Oh my gosh, just look at these pictures, you guys. Like this art that Gabe, Gabrielle did is, like, stunning. Ooh, August, which is my birthday. Mm. Look at this. I mean, oh, my gosh. Oh, Six of Crows. I think that's what that's supposed to be, right? Six of Crows? <gasps> yep, that's definitely Six of Crows. That is neat. Oh, look at this one. You guys, this is, like... Stunning. I haven't even got to the book yet. Look how stunning these pictures are. Look at this. If I can get it. Let's see what else, if there's anything else. Oh my gosh. This is adorable. Like, oh my gosh. Look at this. Stunning. I mean, this artwork is just amazing. It says, let's live a, thor a thousand lives together that's what it says on the back gabriel gabrielle if you are watching this oh my gosh girl you are so talented oh my gosh this is gorgeous like there's nothing in this box i do not like okay the book is called outrun the wind by elizabeth tanny i'm not Gary. sure what it's about but this is what the card is it says nobody can outrun the wind and then the um, the author's notes there. It says, Dear readers, yeah. when does a story or a person become a myth? myth? Which version of a myth is true? Despite my lifelong love for mythology, I'm still not quite sure how to define the weird yeah. myth. It's exclusive and it's perhaps... Because of its strange and slippery quality that I find myself returning to myths time and time again. They are stories and characters that survive, that have been passed down to us since their inception. <laughs> How do you say that word? They are equal yeah. part a time cap capsule and common thread. Atalin or at something like that myth varies widely dependent on the storyteller and I'm sure we lost a great deal of her story across the centuries as well maybe she was a real girl maybe there was a Greek maiden who m managed to invade marriage by defeating her suitors in a foot race we can't know I do know there's a mate, I mean, that there is more beyond the poems and artistic renderings of her than that remains. I, pe I peer far into the background and deep between the lines of the stories already told and let her speak to me. I found new characters and motivations and dilemmas tied up in her real myth. And I run with it, so to speak. I can't wait to welcome you to the Greece of 
heroes just before the Trojan War, where gods and monsters whirled and humans tried to fight fate in a world designed to re restrain them. I hope you enjoy <laughs> Atalanta, Atalanta, something like that, and Colleen's, Colleen, something like that journey. It's been my immense privilege and joy to write Outrun the Wind. Thank you so much for your love. For for reading, I mean. Love, Elizabeth. It's a very pretty card. And since there ain't no bookmark, I'm just going to use, use this as the bookmark. But look at this. Got the letter from the author. I mean, the not the letter. The, oh my gosh, I already did the letter. We got the, what do you call it? The, the sign plate with our signature. Look at this. So, isn't that like really pretty? Hello. I'm sorry it's so loud. Everybody keeps coming into the bedroom. <laughs> but look at the like the pages on here. It says, The Huntress of Artemis must obey two rules. Never disobey the goddess and never fall in love. After being rescued from a harrowing, harrowing life as the oracle of Delphi, Delphine, how do you say that word? Delpha, maybe? Kahin? It's K-A-H-I- in A, is glad to be part of the hunt. Living among a group of female warriors gives her a chance to reclaim her strength. But when a routine mission goes a a wire, Karin Kahin, how do you say her name? Breaks the first world in order to save the legendary huntress Atlantean. I guess that's how you say it. To earn back Artemis' flav favor, Kahuna maybe must complete a dangerous task in the kingdom of Arcadae, Arcade, Arcade, something like that, where the king's daughter is revealed to be none other than Atlantia, Atlantia, still rolling from her disastrous quest and her father's insistence on marriage. <laughs> Atlanta, Atlanta, something like that, isn't sure what to make of Kahuna, Kahina, how is her name? As her connection to Atlantia deepens, Kahina, Finds herself in danger of breaking Amethyst's second rule. She helps Atlantia devise a dangerous game to avoid marriage and word spreads throughout Greece. Attracting suitors to go up against Atlantia in a race for her hand. But when the men responsible for both Ew. the girls' dark, dark past arrives, the game turns deadly. Outrun, Outrun the Wind is a fierce, feminist, and sorely needed update to an ancient classic. An enchanting retelling of the Greek myth of Atlantia. Tammy's debut novel is an intoxicating, intoxicating slow burn romance set in a world where gods walk the earth. I like that it's like, you know, that it doesn't have like a uh, what is it called? The cover, like the book. I forget what that's called. Like the you know the dust jacket or whatever you want to call it. I like that this one doesn't have that. Cause sometimes you don't like the covers, you know. You have to take them off. But, but this one, you don't have to worry. So yeah, this is looks like it's gonna be an interesting book. I'm really excited to find out. Don't seem like it's that long either. There's. I'll tell you. There's only 295 pages, so it shouldn't take that long to read. Okay, let me find what I did with the thing, and I will read what we what everything says. I had it somewhere. Now I can't find it. Great. I can't. There. No. Yes. Yeah, here it is. Okay. So it says... It says... It's S A P H I R A, mug warmer, fake crate exclusive. So that of course is, I got stuff all over this bed because I just did that at one unboxing. I don't know where it went, but it's that one thing that I was showing you. Oh, here it is. That's this. It says take a little bit of bris bristering, how do you say that? Magic with you to keep your coffee or tea warm wherever you may go, whether to work, school, or your bedroom. <laughs> Aragon has you covered. So that's from Aragon. Interesting. Very, very interesting. And something we don't usually get that I've never got in a box. 
So that's interesting. So now I can just keep my drink warm. So I can plug it in and then just set it there. Because a lot of times you know how you get. Like you buy, like you drink, you make tea or coffee and you sit it there. And then you get involved in your book or whatever you're doing. And it gets like icy cold. So now, woohoo, cool. And then it says... The Star Touch Cream Tapestry, Fay Crate Exclusive. And that's this nice. big one, beautiful one, that I said I'm going to use just as a blanket. Because I don't use them as what you call it. And it's soft enough to be a blanket. It says, designed by Gab Gabrielle, I do not know how to say her last name. I'm so bad at it. Budois? 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 Something like that. It's B-U-J-D-O-S-O. Keep Maya and Amar with you to always remember we are all weaved together like a tapestry. One of our favorite stories to create their own mythology. I've never actually read Star Touch Queen yet. I think I have it on my ebook, but I haven't read it. The next one says 2019 Bookish Calendar Fay Crate Exclusive, which is this gorgeous thing with all the beautiful artwork from Gabrielle. Gabrielle. And this one says... All of your very, all of your very favorite pieces done by Gabby includes a variety of different fandoms to keep your new year in style. And then it says, Last Name Sarah, which I haven't read yet. That's what this is, The Last Name Sarah. <laughs> I'm sorry, The Last Name Sarah. Leather Clutch Fake Crate Exclusive. Designed by LK Designs dot Studio. Keep a bag that's as fierce as you are to hold all your necessary necessities. Awesome. Okay, and then it says Billy File Bumper Sticker. So that's a bumper sticker. It says design Oh wait a minute, I'm sorry. I was back to that same one. It says, let everyone know you're a proud Billy File with this awesome bumper sticker. Even if you don't have a car, this sticker works on just about anything. Stick it on your laptop or your favorite notebook. The next one says, Throne of Glass Collection Polaroid They Crate Exclusive. It says, the third in our series of collectible ed, ED featuring Dorian and Cal because we can't help ourselves art by at lextric some of that it's at l-e-x-a-a-r-t-s and then this one of course is in the sealy the sealy only crate it says percy jackson sweatshirt by verge of wistery some of that so yeah that's what this is and it gorgeous don't tell my son, but I got my son one too. I hid it. I didn't want him to see it. But my son loves Percy Jackson. I know I'm whispering, but my door's open. So yeah, I got my son Vincent one of these, if you can understand what I'm saying. Because I'm whispering. <laughs> but yeah. And it says, December book of the month, Outrun the Wind. Elizabeth Cammy, the Huntress of Artemis must obey two worlds. Never disobey the goddess and never fall in love. Oh, we also got a free book download of Bride of Dreams by Amara Lurchino. Something like that. Lucino? Something like that. What good is a beauty when it strips you of a choice? What good are the gods when they promise you a man you don't want? And I'm not going to let you guys know the thing because it's only one per crate, and I want that book. But, yeah, it's called Bride of Dreams. And then it says January. Uh, January theme is Reluctant Heroes, which I already bought, of course, because, hello, something Buffy-related is going to be in that, and Buffy's, like, my favorite, one of my favorite, favorite shows ever. So, of course, I had to get the Buffy box. And I think I know what the book is, and if the book is what I think it is, I'm going to be so happy. It says, if you like the book of the month, you do, you'll do. you love these two. A Poseidon, something like that, Half-Blood, Roar, and Sistra. Sistra. Cersei. Cersei? Is that how you say it? Cersei? The S-I-R-C-E? 
And then it says that they're, they have Fae Crate, I mean, Blood, Fae Crate Blood Witch, special edition box by Susan Dunner. I've never read her series or I would have looked into that. And then it tells you when the challenge for December, what the dates are, and that they had a Wicked King, which I think they're already out of. So yeah. But yeah, this was a really good box. Like I said, there's nothing that I did not dislike. You know, I loved everything. Like I said, I'm definitely going to use this probably as a blanket. Because like I said, I don't use the one as the tapestry. Like I got that really beautiful one from Owl Crate. It's just laying on my bookshelf somewhere. So this one I'm going to use as a, because of the material. It's not real rough and stuff. It's pretty soft. So I'm just going to use this as a blanket. You could probably even, like, get it, like, get another piece or something or somehow and maybe make a bag or something. But I'm not creative. I don't know how to sew with a darn. <laughs> but, yeah, I love this box. And this Percy Jackson is, I love this thing. It's nice and warm. I'm going to wear this probably to church tomorrow because, oh, my gosh. But, yeah, just look at this. I forgot this was in here, you guys. I, To be perfectly honest, I forgot I got this sweater. Because usually I get the, you know, the one that's just the goodies and the book and not the sweater. But I wanted the sweater because, you know, even though I haven't finished Percy Jackson yet, I love Percy Jackson. So, look at that sucker though. Ain't it gorgeous? And I love the color. I love the blue for the, the ocean or the sea, whatever you want to say. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's nice and big. And it's comfy. Look, I got like plenty of room. This is nice even to sleep in on cold nights. Especially when my husband ain't here to snuggle with to keep warm. Then I have this and my covers and everything else. So yeah. What's your favorite thing in the box? Can you guys choose? Because, oh my gosh. Like this is something I don't see in boxes. I love like almost every month you get something that you normally wouldn't see in another box. Like the lamp. I mean the, um, the nightlight thingy. I got mine plugged in the wall over there. I use it all the time. And this is like so good for book readers. Because you could put your plugs in, sit your glass on there, and it'll stay nice and warm. I mean, oh my gosh. And this is just gorgeous. Like, I don't think I would write in this. I don't know what the, like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this because the picture is so beautiful. Maybe I will hang it up. But, oh my gosh, I just love this so much. And I just love the um, the art back here. I think somebody said this art was on, I think it was this art they were talking about, that was on the blanket for one of the boxes. And see, I didn't get that box. I'm not sure which box they're talking about. But yeah, somebody was saying, and I remember um, Faye Crate saying that, that they were going to do something for people that didn't get the um, the blanket. There was going to be something in here for the people that didn't get the pl blanket that loved the art. So I'm thinking this is what it is. I could be wrong, and I'm sorry if I am, but I'm pretty sure that's what that's from. Or maybe they're talking about this. I know it's one or the other. They were talking about, and they were like, it was on, it was on the blanket. It could have been this, though. I know it's one or the other. But this is, like, gorgeous. Like, I love the artwork. And, of course, you know me with my... With my Rowan. I mean, not my Rowan. Why did I say Rowan? With Dorian and Manon. I'm right, right? This is supposed to be the people from Throne of Glass. <laughs> but, I mean, this is, like, gorgeous. Because that's supposed to be what you call it, right? Um... Uh, Aiden? I'm not Aiden. Why am I saying Aiden? Rowan. I think. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Who are, if you guys know who they are, let me know. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But yeah, that's it. Um, I still got a couple more boxes that are supposed to be coming, but I don't know when it's going to be. I'm supposed to get a uh, Sparecraft's normal box. Who knows when that will get here. I'm supposed to still get um, Enchanted Book Box. I'm still supposed to be getting Geek Gear, the Christmas, the Harry Potter one. I'm supposed to be getting that, the festive one. Don't know anything about it because I didn't get tracking and I haven't, 
I know it was shipped out like two, two and a half weeks ago. Who knows with um, border, I mean, you know, with it having to go to, through, through the border or whatever you want to call it, customs. Who knows when it's going to get here, but when those three get here, I'll let you, I'll do unboxings for them. Uh, I think those are the final three, and then it starts all over again. Next month, I'm probably going to be getting, um, I'll be getting the, um, next month I'll be getting, um, what's it called? I'll be getting the Wicked King, the Wicked King, you know, the Holly Black, the next one. That special edition box from Owl Crate. I'll be getting my normal beacon, which is going to have um, an arch in it and a regular book. I'm going to be getting a uh, Faircraft, which is going to have two books in it. I'm going to be getting Fay Crate again, and I'm going to be getting, I thought there was one, oh, and regular Owl Crate. So I'll be getting five boxes next month, so not as crazy as this month. So yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. So this is a long video, and it shouldn't be this long, but I'm just so excited about this box, you guys. I mean, like, there ain't nothing in here that's not like this. I already have, like, a, um, one that I put all my supplies in, but now I can put, it, like, my supplies in two of them because I'm running low. So what I might do is put my tabs in in one of these and then put my keep my markers in the other one. That's why they're separate, you know. I wish I could get this stupid thing open because I want to show you guys real quick the, what it looks like outside the bag. There we go. But it's got one of those... Um, it's a, okay, here we go. It's got like a little thing if you want to put it on there. I don't think you do it that way. I just do it like that. I like it like this. I, I know you're supposed to put it on there, really, but sometimes it's easier to put it on there. Mm, it's nice and soft in there, you guys. But yeah, this is what it looks like outside of the, outside of the thing. Yeah. But that is it, you guys. What was your guys' favorite thing in the box? Does it, has anybody read this book? Or if you, and if you have, did you like it? And if you haven't read it, is it something that might interest you? I love stuff to do with mythology and all that stuff, so. And different things like that. So, yeah. And I love Percy Jackson. So, and this has Armathis in it. And things to do with that. So, just seems like something I will really like. So, I'm hoping I will. And I love this. I didn't even notice. Like, right here. It's in here. It says Fay Crate. Can you see that? With this glare, I don't know if you can see. But right here, it says Fay Crate. I just noticed that. Ain't that neat? Then you know at least, I will remember at least one book that I got, what box I got it from. Because sometimes I forget what books I get from boxes because I have so many books. And that's going to be one of my goals for next year. If I can remember what all books I got from them. I'm going to go through my shelf and I'm going to do a, a thing on the books that I haven't read yet from different boxes. I'm not going to say what boxes they're from because half of them I won't know unless it's signed because then I know it's all crate. But yeah. Unless they got some kind of symbol on it, I'm not going to know. But some of them I still kind of know, like, certain ones that I got just from not which, you know, which box it was. But I know it came from a book box. So, yeah. But I love that it has fake crate on there. I didn't even notice that. I don't know if all the books do that or if it's just this one. But that's neat that it shows you that it's fake crate, that it came from fake crate. But, yeah. Did you guys think this was an uh, interesting thing to get? I'm going to have to try this out and see if it really works. I'll have my, my son make me some tea later and try this. But look, nice and soft. Of course, I'll have to use one of my other ones and to plug it in. But look. And I really love the design on there. But yeah, I'm going to let you guys go because this video is long. Just let me know down below uh, what you what was your favorite thing, if you could choose, because, boy, I can't choose. If I have to choose, I will tell you I like this because it's unique. You don't get this very, you don't get, like, a warmer, you know, for your tea or coffee in boxes, really. 
At least I've never seen any. I really love the tapestry. I really love this. And of course, I love this because I love Dorian so much. That's my baby. And the book sounds really interesting. I even think this, like, sticker is stunning. If I ever get a laptop, this will go on the laptop. Or maybe I'll put it in one of my books. If I think it fits one of the pages or something like that really good. Or maybe I'll put it in one of my, in my all crate thing. Because I got the, you know, the planner there. I might put it in one of the pages. Who knows? But, yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. Just let me know down below what your favorite thing was. What do you think about the shirt? I just love this shirt so much. And would you use this as a tapestry? Or would you do like I'm going to do and use it as a blanket? Because this is too stunning, like, just to, have, like, let it just stay around, you know? Like, just stand around. Because this is just, like, oh, my gosh. I just think that's so beautiful. Kind of, the guy's kind of really creepy though. He's so mis he's kind of mysterious because he's like you could kind of see him, but he's kind of looks like he's off in the shadows, like he's hunt. He's probably not haunting or, or hunting her or nothing like haunting her or nothing like that. But it looks like it. Like I said, I've never read the book, so I'm not sure. Like, like if that's like a certain part of the book in the book, the scene for the book. But yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go. And I will be back later. I don't know when. And I'll do some more videos. I hope you guys all have a good day. Remember, if you ever need anybody to talk to, just comment down below and I'll get back right back to you. I love talking to my, you know, my subscribers. I consider a lot of a lot of you guys, especially the ones that comment, like best friends because you guys are so awesome and comment. And even if you don't comment, I still love you guys because you guys are watching the videos. And you guys subscribe to my channel, and I love that. And that's my favorite thing about doing. This is why I wanted to do this. To do videos. Because I wanted to be able to, you know, let people know, like, the books I like and what I love to do. And I, and I want to, you know, be with other booktubers and talk to them and everything. And watch their videos and see what they like and don't like. It's fun. So, yeah. If you guys like this video, thumbs up. If you guys haven't subscribed, think about subscribing because you'll get a lot of unboxings. And yeah. And if you subscribe, remember to thumbs up. I mean, I keep saying thumbs up. If you remember if you subscribe, remember to push the bell icon. Then you'll know whenever I got a unboxing coming or a book review or whatever I do. And I will be back later. I love you guys all. Bye.